tell me why I look like Jamiroquai. I'm giving full Jamiroquai today and I'm not sorry. It's Monday, everyone knows Mondays are like, it's Monday. This is what I look like today. I haven't got my wig on. I don't want to put it on because I get really um, flustered with it on. I don't like when I can feel phantom hairs in my eyes and stuff. Um, so I just uploaded a video. I just uploaded my long, not long awaited, but long time making. I don't know. Basically, I've been making this video for like over a month nearly because I rebranded my entire channel and this is the first video it's making a crop sweater on a central machine I even went as far as to outline my little face and my body in procreate I hope it does well just because I did put a lot of love and time and effort into it but you never know with these things like it could do really well it could do really badly we will find out we will see um, now i feel like i can actually breathe i feel like i can like whew, exhale a little bit so really exciting i just got my hobby order hobby hobby um package in the post today so let's open that up this has been stuck in customs for over two weeks it got stuck in december and now it's january i ordered this in november i ordered a whole bunch of yarn to create some bits that i've had on my pinterest board for ever like i've had them on there forever nothing i'm going to make with any of this is going to stay with me i am actually going to put these on my etsy so if you are someone that has like followed me on instagram you see what i do or you are new and you see what i do hey that's not nice um they're solely bought for me to be able to kind of make things to post on my etsy and to sell just because i want to kind of like branch out with creating maybe collections instead of actually doing commissions because i found that i don't think i like taking commissions it's something about i don't really know what it is if you're ever asking for a commission i love you and i really appreciate the support i love like being able to make something for someone or someone to kind of take that chance on you as like a creator but there's something that i don't know why once i'm like okay and i have to make it it, it just drains the life out of me nothing personal to people that order I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but I've just figured that maybe if I make collections and sell what I make I think it's to create a freedom maybe but if I sell what I make then you know it would feel a little bit better so that's what I'm gonna do let's go ahead and have a look through this I don't even remember what I've ordered there's quite a bit of Amigo XL which I'm not gonna lie I thought this was gonna be a lot chunkier this is the Amigo regular this is the Amigo chunky for anyone who's been curious as to like the comparison in yarn weight and size so here is the amigo just like regular size and this is used with a four millimeter hook four to five millimeter and this is the amigo xl which says it's recommended hook size is five to six i'm not too perverse in like crochet hooks and sizes and what you should use so I don't really want to like sit here and be like oh you should use this or I recommend that I don't know but this looks like I'd probably use like a 3.5 millimeter hook with that or four even am I doing have I been doing this wrong the whole time I don't know my favorite crochet hook is a 3.5 and sometimes a four they are my favorite hooks ever I just kind of like how it works up um this is also making me think maybe i didn't order enough i like the colors i like how vivid they are you can order things online they don't come up as vivid in person as they are online but this is actually as vivid as you're seeing it on screen this is how vivid it is in real life i got these colors i don't know why i bought this one not not xl i think this was to make myself one of my skirts that i really like that i made um, so I've got these, I've got some bright yellow, I think that's the egg yolk. Then I got some magenta, we've got, this is orange, super bright orange. This is like my favorite kind of color. I don't know why, it doesn't suit my skin tone, but I love working with like really bright 
oranges. I picked up some super hot pink. Now, if you thought this pink was bright, this is like even brighter. <laughs> They're all Amigo XL. This was bought during their Black Friday sale. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't too keen to like branch out. I haven't really worked with other yarns other than this fluffy yarn that I used to make myself a bucket hat. Um, I kind of just stick to DK, but this thread I'd love to try and work with all mohair and maybe some snuggly yarn as well to make a blanket. I'd love to branch out just that little bit more. See how my skills match with different fibers and textures. So brown one, my idea for this was, I will post it here, it's a jumper sweater that I saw on, it's actually on a child's, a child's outfit, I don't know where it's from. Um, and I just really like how the colors work with it. So I wanted to try and recreate something like that. I also wanted to make a granny square skirt. So I ended up getting quite a few purples because I wanted to make it mon monochrome. There's some browns in here, but that's pretty much everything that I've bought. <sighs> now, now that I have that, I feel like I can relax a little bit. I don't know when I'm gonna actually use it. I don't know when I'm gonna use this. I will show you guys my yarn stash one day, but not today because it's really bad. I'm in the process of actually spinning cakes up. I got myself a, what is this called? It's so, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. <laughs> Anyway, what is this thing called? A yarn winder. I bought myself a yarn winder because I wanted to make cakes out of the yarn that I have because my yarn stash is so full. But I feel like a lot of the fullness of my yarn stash isn't due to hoarding. It's due to it not being spun in cakes. I feel like it's not stored properly. So I think if I cake them all and put them in there, they would stay. I'm actually pretty surprised by how solid these are. I thought they'd fall apart, but they actually hold really firm. And this doesn't have any paper in the middle because I just haven't had anything to like stuff down there. I'm a mother. And this is how mothers look sometimes. What's <laughs> up so guys, it's Wednesday. It's the last day of this vlog. Um, I'm currently getting ready to take Camilo to an appointment. He's gonna be one next week. I'm gonna have a whole one year old. And I don't know where you guys are based, but here in the UK, sometimes you have to do a, your baby has to do like a developmental review to see if they're, you know how their health and development is going a year and there's certain i guess like milestones that they need them to hit um so we're going to that i don't really know much more about it. i'm not going to like speak on it i don't know i'm just taking him because they sent me a letter my wig is super puffy but i'm just gonna I'm just gonna rock with it. I'm gonna get some earrings in, I think. I'm not go, maybe I will go like this. This jumper is from H&M. It's a cropped, <laughs> there's a theme here. I like crop tops. It's like a cropped high neck um, top. And I bought it, I bought it maybe like four years ago, but I've always wanted to make one myself. Like I wanna learn how to knit so I can knit this in particular. It's a raglan, I think. I'm guessing, or I don't know if it's just like how they've done the seam, but I've always wanted to knit my own because I think I just love it and I couldn't justify buying the other colours for how much this cost. I feel like this was £30. And I was like, am I really going to spend £90 on three jumpers when I can just go through the grueling process of learning how to knit, knitting something and knitting a whole crop jumper? Come on, come on! Obviously not. To start putting a little bit more effort in. I'm really sorry that I always come to you guys like sans makeup, just looking like my natural self. But that's just me. Like when I'm sitting there and I'm crocheting and I'm this baby is smacking my television with a remote. Hello, sir. I am actually going to put on makeup today though. So, but I'm going to put some on today. I'm not putting it on the best, I'm not gonna lie. I'm literally putting on a little bit of foundation. Also gone down like a really huge rabbit hole on TikTok, looking at what people are crocheting at the moment. Cause I don't feel like I feel really like inspired off the top of my head. I don't know why, well I do know why. It's just like, I don't have like the time. Whoop. 
Tada! Hold on. I should probably wipe the foundation off of my lips, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So I thought I'd update you on like a little project that I'm currently working on on the side of um, my commitments. I started making a granny square. Let's move all these because these are very colourful and very distracting. I started working on a granny square balaclava and I've done three panels in black. Uh, basically black because these are the outer edge are black, the centre is white. And I'm going to do the reverse of these and make four of those. And yeah, I think I might do a little video on it. Ooh. So I thought it would be kind of cool if I, I guess I just wanted to like make today's vlog really was just to just say hi and I guess show you guys the little snippet of like what I've been up to, which as you can see is not like a whole bunch, but there's still things going on. I thought it'd be cool if I sat with you and we made a granny square together because I'm currently starting a new project on making granny squares. I wanna make 200 granny squares. I'm gonna be using all this yarn. That was unnecessary. That was very uncalled for. <laughs> Last year was the year that I really picked up crochet and I actually started crocheting, I can say properly like in, in this like, full force does that make sense like i really picked it up last year after learning back in 2020 when the pandemic hit i actually started making things um and i only tried out a few pieces but after that i i kind of gave up it dawned on me that i actually like didn't really pick it up very much in 2021 so it felt really good to get into it and it felt really good to kind of like create and just have a hobby that I genuinely enjoy. I think I did kind of branch out enough to kind of figure out exactly what kind of style I like and I like really bold and vivid colours, hence why these granny squares, they would blind you now. I'm gonna start a granny square while I'm talking to you guys. Also at the end of last year, I think I spoke about this a little bit briefly in my last video and also if you've clicked on that video and you've given it a thumbs up and you've watched it, thank you. Thank you, it means the absolute world to me because it's obviously the first video talking about my craft and what I do so it was a little bit nerve-wracking putting it out there yeah I appreciate you guys because that voiceover <laughs> that audio sounds like I'm in a microwave okay it sounds like I'm in a microwave so thank you if you actually did stick around and actually watched the video and liked it and I appreciate that but anyway the long and short of it is I just really want to create content that was more in line with like me and my interests mm -hmm. that was away from my personal life so I didn't have to feel like I had to bear the bones of my private life I guess in a sense for views because when you are vlogging your day if you're not showing people you like literally brushing your teeth you washing your face you scrubbing your underarm shaving your toe People aren't gonna watch, and that's just that's just God on his truth. Look at this kind of square, it's coming along so cute. These colours look really, really good together. I love this. Wow. Who is she? Purr. If you guys want to know what I'm making 200 odd granny squares for, you're gonna have to watch my next video. And all will be revealed because. No, I'm playing. I have an idea. I just need to properly plan it out. But hey, there's nothing wrong with making two brownie squares. Oh my goodness. This yarn, by the way, is so nice. And also, if you're watching this, let me know in the comment section who are your favorite like crafting YouTubers. I will leave a list in the description box of mine. There are a few that I watch. You guys are probably watching this right now thinking, why is she using such a small look to such thick yarn? I'm a little bit on him sometimes. Sometimes I like to break the rules. Sometimes I like to go a little bit crazy. And I also cannot be bothered to look for my hooks right now. I don't know where I put them. So this is all I've got for now. You know when you add a color to something and you can just see the beauty of it all coming together. Yeah, that's what this is right now. Oh my God. This is so nice. I will leave a list of my favourite crafting YouTubers and also people on Instagram because I know a lot of people like to use Instagram for inspo. It's 
my personal mood board outside of Pinterest. All of that will be linked in the description box. If you're here, leave a comment. Let me know. Who are you watching? Tell me, please. I'm going to finish my granny square and then I'll come back to you when I have this one done. And I guess I'll just say goodbye. <laughs> result of a granny square she's okay <laughs> she's all right um i think i need to use the right hook yeah <laughs> so i feel like that's why she's come out a little bit misshapen but other than that i don't think she's bad we have our first granny square i really like the colors of this you guys will definitely get a video on me making 200 granny squares and what i do with them i'm gonna name her i feel like she should be called griselda it's been good to hang out with you guys for a little bit this week and I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. It's been, it's been fun as always. The next vlog that I have will be a crafting vlog and it'll probably be a little bit more like pew 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 pew. Always good to see you my friends and that's pretty much it for today. I will speak to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!